Do you want to play around with all kinds of AIs, but the install process is just a pain in your patootie? Well, today I'm going to show you something that is easy, fun and self-contained, just like subscribing to my channel. Let's get started. This is Pinocchio and it is like a browser for AI. You can download it to your computer, it installs and after that you're using scripts to install all kinds of different AIs. So when you scroll down here, you see different kind of scripts for audio, for text, for image generation. There's a lot here to offer. This is just the beginning. The good thing here is also if you want to, you can write your own install scripts to make this even more versatile and to help you set up the environment the way you like it the next time you want to make a fresh install. But I have two more surprises for you. If you click on the download button, you see here there's for Windows, M1 and M2 Mac, Intel Mac and also Linux. And the second surprise is you can see here on their announcement thumbnail it says virtual computer. Now this isn't strictly speaking a virtual version of your Windows or Mac system. Instead what this means is that everything is contained inside of the Pinocchio folder. So this is installing all of the different dependencies, Python and so on and does not mess with anything else you already have installed on your system. So you're completely safe playing with this AI browser and testing out all kinds of different AIs. If you don't need them anymore, you can simply delete them. So how does the install actually work? Well, it is super easy. You download a zip file, you unpack it and in there for Windows, there's an exe file. You run the exe file and this is going through the install process. It takes a little bit, but after that, the Pinocchio browser is installed as a software. You can find it in your start menu and simply open it up like a normal program. After that, when you open it up, you will see a browser of different options of what you can install install and each of them has an install button. So you simply click on that install button and wait for everything to run through. Now here's the thing. When you install it first, this is basically installing only the core files. So the first time you're running an AI, it is taking quite some while to download all of these big model files that you needed. After you've installed everything, you see a button that says either start or launch. When you click on this, this is starting to open up your AI. Here I have automatic 11.11 and the benefit also here is inside of this browser you can for example click here on configure and you can see that here you have the configuration for example with your command line arcs that you can adjust here and then save before you run your automatic 1111 to adapt it to your needs. By the way for automatic 1111 which is called stable diffusion web UI here if you don't see the launch button you want to click here on discover scroll down and there is a script here for a one click launcher of automatic 1111. So you want to click your install and then you should see that launcher button. Once you click on launch, this is loading automatic 1111. And then once it's running, you see here the running icon and next to it open web UI. Once you click on that, this is opening up automatic 1111 in your standard browser. Of course, this is a fresh install of automatic 1111. So of course, there are no models yet. And also there are no extensions. The extensions for now are installed as usual. So you go to the extensions tab, you go to available and load from and then you have your loading list that you can choose from what kind of extensions you want to use. There are going to be scripts in the future that help you with that also. If you want to close automatic 1111 you go here again into the Pinocchio browser. Here you have your server button. Click on that and click on stop and this is disconnecting and turning off automatic 1111. Another thing that is important here is when you click on the name up here, this is going into a browser view and here you have automatic 1111. When you click on that and then for example click on extensions, you will see up here the location where the extensions folder is. So when you click on this blue link up here, this is opening up the location where the extension folder is. Of course this also works with with all of the other folders that you can find. So for example, down here we have the models folder and in there the stable diffusion folder. So if you want to, you can also manually download any kind of models inside of here. 
And of course, you can now play also with all kinds of other AI. So here, for example, is Audio LDM2. And the process is always the same. You simply click here on the install button and wait for the install to finish. So here, for example, I have Audio LDM2. I click on start. This is how the interface for that looks. Up here, you set your text prompt of what you want to have and then simply click here on submit to have it rendered. This is also using your GPU. This is what it looks like when the audio has finished rendering. It took me about one minute to render on an RTX 4080. Let's have a listen. I would say that sounds pretty amazing for an audio sample rendered locally on your computer. Thanks for watching my friends. Leave a subscribe if you want to see more videos like that and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.